Hi, welcome to Online for Love, your resource for online dating by the numbers. I'm Amy, your certified online dating expert. I've been studying and comparing online dating sites for the last five years, and today we're going to be talking about the four worst dating sites. If you have any experience with online dating, I'm sure that you've come across some strange, to say the least, dating sites out there. There are a ton of scam ones, a ton of very strange ones and niche ones. Today we're going to talk about four of the worst that we have seen in our own opinion, but we'd love to hear if there are any that you have seen that you think are actually worse than this list. I'm always open to hear um, the most craziest dating sites out there, so definitely leave a comment if you think yours are crazier than ours. When looking for bad dating sites, we look for things that seem a little bit immoral, things that are scammy, things that will kind of hurt people in the long run. It can be actually sometimes a little bit fun just to look over the worst ones i mean i do a lot of videos about the best dating sites for this type of person for this type of person but for once it's kind of cool to just like talk trash just, just a little bit sometimes with bad dating sites there are certain tells that sort of tip you off right away that this is going to be a bad site sometimes it's just the site layout you can just kind of tell by the way it looks that it's not a good site um but sometimes just a little bit harder and sometimes you don't even realize it till you're like halfway be till being scammed or you realize hey, I'm sort of wasting my time on this site. So I hope that we can help deter you from some of these sites that we consider to be some bad ones. What's always really helpful is to take the Online for Loves online dating quiz. This will help pair you with the best online dating site for you. I find it really helpful and none of these are on there, I can assure you. Definitely try that quiz. If nothing else, it's really fun. Link in the description. Okay, so let's get into it to our first worst dating site and that is beautifulpeople.com. So this is a highly controversial website that is all about looks. Now you might think all online dating is all about looks and in some form sort of is. I mean there are the tenders of the world where you just swipe left or right based on basically just people's pictures but beautifulpeople.com really takes it to another level. They were even on a BBC show. The owner of the company was even confronted by women who had been turned down from the site so it's had some buzz around it for its questionable morals but basically it's a site where only beautiful people are allowed beautiful people hyphenated it's what they consider beautiful so basically the way it works is that you are voted on whether you're beautiful or not on a sliding scale from their members and if you are not beautiful enough then you are booted off and actually part of the controversy that happened um, somewhat recently with them is that it's, it turned out that a lot of people who had gained some weight ended up being booted off so you know, it's really enforcing these stereotypes of beauty in a pretty negative and harmful way, we think. Apparently the acceptance rate for this online dating site is less than 15%, so your chances are really slim of being accepted. Now I do have to make a comment, I mean, the type of people on this dating site do you want to date them anyway who would vote people so stereotypically and so surface level? I mean, again, there is an aspect of that to online dating in general and dating in general, but I mean, this is just a whole nother level. It's just a little bit insane. The whole website is just a little bit beyond comprehension. I mean, it's like, it's like textbook mean. I mean, they've done polls on the best looking and worst looking politicians and royals. So among the best looking royals, you have like, Grace Kelly, Kate Middleton, and like the ugliest royals are King Henry VIII, the Queen of Hearts, and Princess Fiona from Shrek. <laughs> this seems like a joke, but it's a real website. Who was on here? Apparently, beautiful people had a poll talking about what specific traits the people on the website thought were not attractive enough for them. Both men and women agreed that obesity, having an unsightly nose, bad mouth and teeth, bad skin, and unkempt grooming are surefire grounds to be rejected from international dating sites. Women specifically wrote about not wanting uh, men to be too short, having unsightly or untaken care of facial or body hair, having bad posture, sporting dirty or too long nails, as well as being too skinny, scrawny, or effeminate. Men in the poll were just as strict with their requirements, making sure that the women that they find attractive need to have a shapely body with a butt but not too much butt having eyes too far apart or too close together or having bad makeup or bad eyebrows were also just no notes for these people i really hope that the people on this website who are judging others so harshly are like aphrodite and adonis in the flesh as much as we're kind of hating on this site i mean i guess if that is something you highly value like you need someone as gorgeous 
as yourself and you won't settle for anything less and you have been uh, maybe catfished many two times with people's pictures not matching them exactly, then maybe this is the site for you and maybe I'm judging too harshly. What do you think? I think what would make you exceptionally beautiful is that if you gave this video a thumbs up and hit subscribe, but the thumbs up really helps our videos to be seen by more people on YouTube. So it would be a big help if you give us a thumbs up if you're enjoying the content. The second worst site is delightful.com, which is an online dating site from Steve Harvey, actually. He is apparently an expert on dating as well as comedian and TV show host. He decided to partner with The Match Group in 2014 to launch his own online dating website, channeling all of his knowledge. Despite its promotion and his celebrity status, it was riddled with tons of negative reviews, mostly stemming from Harvey's betrayal of men and women and their biological differences and factors that he went over on the site. Harvey argued that women are wired differently and had many articles on the site teaching women how to be more dateable. Harvey was saying things like women's biological clock is ticking, which is going to lead them only to serious relationships to get babies, basically, and that contrasts with men's point of view. Obviously, this is a huge, outdated stereotype and is pretty amazing that <laughs> such a celebrity would make a site with these types of messages. I know it was 2014, but it's not like that was that long ago. It's like he made a dating site for people in the 50s. The site used to be a lot more Steve Harvey-centric. His face was everywhere, his quotes, it was really based around him, although he does have a huge fandom, it was just a little strange to be focused on this one man, which is even though it's supposed to be a dating site. Of course, Steve has some interesting and possibly useful advice, but that doesn't mean that he is an actual expert on these things. Besides all of the things I already mentioned that we find a little bit, well, a lot of bit outdated, um, there's no data to suggest that this site is successful or that any happy marriages or relationships are coming out of it. In fact, many people have written not so positive reviews for the site. Now, the site has become less Steve Harvey centric trick over the years. His face isn't plastered all around like it was before, but we'd be amiss if we didn't mention this huge and widely debated online dating site. I have some actually good dating advice for you. I think that you should go click on Online for Love's online dating profile guide. It's free for both men and women. It's so helpful and it really helps you to make the best online profile to get more matches and to get people attracted to you just based off of your profile. It's one of the most difficult parts of online dating, so definitely click the link in the description for some free help with that. So our third worst dating site is sugardaddyforme.com. So this is, as you might guess, a sugar daddy and baby website. So why is it on this list? I mean, sugar daddies and things is a very specific niche that some people are looking for. So what's really the problem here? Well, a major problem is that this is an extremely scammy site and many people have been suckered out of money because of this. This site has hundreds of real life reviews explaining how there are thousands of fake profiles on this site targeting people's money. It's just one huge scam that has gotten to so many people. Hundreds of women have said that they created their profiles only to be immediately messaged by men asking them how they can pay them. They easily manipulate these people People asking for their credit card information or maybe passwords or things like that and unfortunately it worked for so many people they got those people's money in order to read or reply to messages you have to pay a membership fee so what the reviews kept saying were happening was that women were getting messages from people even though uh, they theorized that they were all fake messages basically which would encourage them to go ahead and pay for a premium membership because they really wanted to read all these flood of messages they were getting even though the messages were probably fake. Some reviews mentioned that they actually knew the people who had sent them the message and when they talked to them in real life they said that they never sent it. I feel really bad for anyone who was scammed on this site. Our fourth worst online dating site is called datehookup.com. As the name suggests this is basically about hookups. It's very visually based. It basically showcases people's pictures and you decide on them based on that pretty much alone. The website design is super outdated and unfortunately the site is riddled with 
ads non-stop and there are tons of fake profiles and scams on this site as well the one thing that is going for this site is that it's completely free it's aimed at younger people like college age which makes sense that it would be free they don't usually have a lot of money to spend on things like this um, but it is unfortunate in a way that it is targeting those young people because they're just more susceptible to scams to fake profiles and to getting into situations that might not be best for them in our opinion if you want something like a hookup there are lots of other apps that are better less scammy less full of ads um, that could really help you find what you're looking for in a safer way so that was our four worst online dating sites now i have an actual little bonus section for you i'm going to give you three real quick of our favorite online dating sites, some of what we think are the best. I'm gonna give you a quick little tidbit of each one, um, but if you want more information on these bonus great websites I'm talking about, or if you want to know more about the sites I already mentioned, including up-to-date information and pricing, then definitely click the link in the description because this whole video is actually an article form on Online for Love. So if you click the link, it'll take you right to the article with all of the info updated and everything. But anyway, let's talk quickly about three best online dating sites just to contrast with all the negativity. One of the best ones is one of the most popular and sort of infamous, but it is Tinder. Like I was just talking about the date hookup website, a great alternative would be Tinder, something that's safer. I also want to recommend eHarmony, one of the biggest and oldest dating sites in the world. This is the best dating site you could use to find a long-term and a serious love connection. And a third of our favorite um, online dating sites is Match.com. So Match is the original dating site. It was the first online dating site ever back in 95. And it, you know, it stands the test of time for a reason. If you want to find out more, the prices, pros and cons things like that definitely again just click that link in the description and it'll all be there for you so I'm really curious what do you think do you think that these were the worst dating sites ever or did I miss some true horrible gems I would love to know and just look at these crazy sites if you have any good recommendations so definitely put those in the comments below thank you so much for watching this video please give it a like if you liked it and subscribe if you loved it and hopefully we'll see you here again at online for love Thanks, bye.